Hello, my name is Andrei Stan. I'm a data analyst at the BT Provider. And today I will show you how to add totals and subtotals into your tables. So the first step is connecting to the data source. The one that I'm using is the Superstore sample provided by Tableau. And we want to build a table. So in this case, I'll use category and subcategory on rows. Then order date split per year on uh, columns, and then sales on measures. So the next step is adding the totals. We'll go to the analytics tab. And then from here, you can either double click the totals and you can add subtotals and both the totals. Or you can click and drag the totals and add only one of them. So in this case, let's use the subtotals. If we want to add an additional level of detail, so in this case, I'll use product name. We'll notice that the subtotals are missing. So to fix this, we'll go to the analytics and repeat the previous step. So click and drag the totals and drop it on subtotals. So now, as you can see, the subtotals have been added into the view. So now I will drop the product name to have a, a simpler table. And I will add the totals. So let's suppose we want to change the aggregation from, uh, from the sum, which is the default aggregation used by Tableau. Uh, we want to change it to average. So in this case, I'll click the grand total and then change it from here. So just click this automatic and then select average. So in this case, all the values have changed, both for totals and subtotals. So now let's suppose we want to remove the subtotals. So what we want to do is go to the analysis tab, totals, and then remove all subtotals. Let's suppose we want to have a, a different table. Instead of using the sum of sales, we'll have uh, the average discount. So in this case, I have uh, duplicated the previous table. And now we want to add the uh, totals and some totals. And in this case, the calculation is not correct because the way Tableau works is it calculates this number without using the, the columns field. So just to prove you, I'll remove the, the columns and we'll get the same numbers here. So in order to fix this, we will change the aggregation from automatic, which is the sum, to the average. So now we get the correct calculation. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, don't hesitate contacting us.